Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Sam Talks Books and welcome if you're new. So today I thought I would do a romance recommendation. Romances are the first books that I kind of got into reading and probably the only books that I read for years. I did not read any other genre than romance until this year. As glad as I am, I still love romance just as much but today I thought I would give you some recommendations of books that I gave mainly five stars and some of my favourite four stars. So we've got about, how many we got here? We've got 10 books here and I might do a part two or I might even do a video in the future of romance books I can't wait to read. So we're going to jump straight into the video with the first book on this list which is One Day in December. So I read this book in December of last year. It was supposed to be a birthday present but my partner let me have it earlier so he'd already bought me a bunch of other books. And this is the one I could would say that got me back into reading. You know, I hadn't read for like two, three years before due to my mental health and my eyesight. And this is the first book that got me back into reading and, and allowed me to set up my bookstagram and essentially this channel. So I absolutely love this book. We follow two points of view for Laurie and Jack. Laurie does not believe in love at first sight until one day while she's on a bus, she sees Jack through the window waiting at the bus stop. Their eyes meet and there is an instant connection. But before they can even meet and physically talk, the bus pulls off. Laurie spends a year looking for Jack at bus stops, cafes, believing that this was fate. However, she doesn't find him. And that is until one day at a Christmas party when her friend introduces her new boyfriend, which just so happens to be Jack. So <laughs> this book is set over 10 years of heartbreak missed chances and secrets. This was such a fun, love aloud, cute and emotional read and I loved that it was set over 10 years. It just felt so realistic and I loved the characters but what I loved more in this book was Laurie and her relationship with her best friend Sarah. This book was 100% everything and I don't normally like instant love but for some reason this book gripped me and I fell in love with it. And I'd highly recommend it. And also with Christmas coming up, this is the perfect read for December time. Next up on the list is Happy Singles Day. In this book, we follow Paige who has the perfect job, perfect life, and she even has the perfect trip planned to celebrate Singles Day. Then we follow another character, Lucas, who owns a b, &B that is no longer running its dormant. And he lives there with his little five-year-old daughter. And he's happy. Who needs a woman? He's happy being single. That is until one day Paige comes into his life after his sister rents out one of the rooms in the B&B &B without telling him until the very last moment. It goes from there. It's absolutely hilarious. It's perfect for a rainy day because this book's got like this big storm and they're kind of stuck together and it's just sweet. There's little moments in this book that I absolutely love. There's not much more to say other than... I Would I say there's enemies to lovers? I don't really know. Um, they don't really get along, definitely don't. He thinks she's a snob and she kind of thinks he's a bit of a, you know, douche. But it's got such an amazing setting and the stormy weather just makes it so perfect for a nice rejoin, I'd say, this autumn time and winter. Highly recommend this one. I gave it four stars. Such a brilliant, fun read. Next up on the list is You Deserve Each Other. This is a book that was really hyped when it first came out and I could not wait to get my hands on it and I think I've pretty much read it straight away. It's a second choice of romance. We follow two characters, Naomi and Nicholas. Naomi wants out of this engagement and she learns that Nicholas possibly does too, except whoever bows out of this engagement first will have to forfeit paying the whole entire wedding bill and neither of them want to do that. We then get a bunch of pranks of each other trying to force the other one to break off the engagement before the other one does. This book is so much fun, so funny. Honestly, it is just so good. I absolutely found love for these characters and this story, the way it was done. Just everything about it was so perfect. I hardly have a bad word to say about this book. Enjoyed every single moment. I loved the characters. They both had their flaws. You know, they were both had parts to blame in this situation for the marriage of who was to blame to why each character wanted out. I absolutely love that this was a second chance romance. I've never laughed so much at a book in my life. It's beyond perfect and it was an easy five stars and I can't wait to read more from this author in the future. 
another book again i'd highly recommend clearly because this video is about romance that i recommend so i'm going to try and stop saying that <laughs> another book on this list that i kind of feel like i should give five stars to but i gave four stars to and that is before i saw you this book came out this year this cover attracted me straight away and then when i heard what it was about i knew i had to read it about two characters who sleep next to each other with just a curtain beside them and i've never physically seen each other's faces but something there is growing as the conditions do begin to improve they are faced with the fact what now this book is absolutely amazing and so well written and just so heartfelt and i loved everything about this book and although these two characters definitely start off with this massive friendship i love the way how it how their relationship improves over time it's definitely not easy and there are some definitely tough moments in this book as well but it's so well done i i always want to read this one again i think i read this one early in the year but it's so beautifully written and i'm going to be doing a full review on this one so i don't really want to say too much about it ever done i highly recommend this book i gave it a four stars but i'm debating if it should have been a five stars highly highly recommend this book so good and i've not read anything like this before so highly recommend it again i said that so many times <laughs> in that one sentence next up on the list is get a life chloe brown out of the whole brown sister series this one is my favorite although i would still recommend the whole series this one has to be my favorite it's the one that made me laugh the most feel the most towards the characters generally i think about this book a lot so we follow two characters chloe and reed one day chloe is almost hit by a car and she thinks she could have died from this and has not really lived her life so she decides to make a list and get a life starting off by moving out into her own apartment from living at home with her family so chloe has chronic illness and she has like she's in pain all the time so her family help her out a lot and she doesn't really do much with her life but she's now determined to change that around so she lives inside this apartment block where our other character reed lives He's kind of like the guy who is a maintenance guy, so he lives there. I'm not sure exactly what the name of his job is. And these two characters do not get along. He thinks she's a stuck-up snob, and she thinks he's just rude. However, she enlists his help into helping her with her list, and the story pretty much goes from there. And it's so good. There's so many sweet, funny, great moments in this book. These characters both have these real life situations going on for example Chloe's kind of pain Ree's got a backstory of mental and I think physical abuse they are just it's just incredible romance with contemporary yeah I absolutely loved this book in, I mean one of my favorite scenes is near the start involving this little kitty here loved it the cats were so well developed and written and I can't help but think about this book when I listen to Ella Henson's song, Let's Go Home Together. If you've read that book, let me know in the comments do you think that song fits. I feel like that song was written for this book and this was a five stars. Next up on the list is another five star read. So, Anna lost her fiancé to suicide and now she's taken their yacht to go on the journey that they had planned together. But she's not very good at it. So she enlists the help of a guy called Kian. Um, who is a professional sailor who also has his own issues with the future not being quite as what he had planned. This is a romance, but it's also a contemporary, I think. I'll put it up here. And the thing is, the romance wasn't what I loved most about this book. It was just the journey and the setting and the healing that these characters go through. It is incredibly beautifully written and there's so many magical and beautiful moments in this book that made me fall in love with it. The setting is mainly on this yacht, so you're always on the ocean, or it'll be on these beautiful little islands. And there's a specific scene in this book that just completely made me fall in love with it, and it's to do with these whales. I loved it. I loved so many moments in this book, and this book made me cry as well. But this book's definitely about a second chance at finding love when you've lost so much, and learning to find happiness when, you know, the person that you did love committed suicide and I guess come in terms with this this is so well written and it deals with like a heavy topic again of suicide and loss and so much more this book's so much more than a romance it says here on the front sometimes you have to lose your way to find what you're looking for which completely sums up this book and 
oh, please, please read this if you haven't read this because it is so, 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 so good. And I can't describe, I'm going to be doing a review for this one, so I don't want to give away too much about it. Um, again, when I do do, do do, <laughs> when I do do a review, it'll be non-spoilers as always. But this is one of my favourite books that I've read this year so far. Next up is a book that, so this is a fantasy romance that I did not expect to give five stars to because there are a lot of negative reviews and that's stuff and stuff. We follow two characters, Reed and Louise. Louise is a witch and Reed is a huntsman. They are enemies. However, they end up being forced into a marriage after a situation that happens and Lou has to try and hide that she's a witch from her now husband who hunts her and her her kind, is that the right word? Her kind, her other witches. Yeah, yeah, bring on with that. This book was just so much fun. I absolutely love Lou's character. She's just such a fun character to read. She's confident, confidence? <laughs> She's confident, witty, funny, bossy. And then you've got Reed who's kind of, he's tough, but I would say he's kind of a goody two shoes. And this book was just so good. Enemy, it's definitely enemies to love us and I'm actually currently reading the sequel to this one and it's so nice to be reading back into this world and these characters again but I would recommend this one and I know there's a lot of bad reviews but if you are worried just pick it up go for it and just see if you like it because you might I did it was a five star read and I absolutely loved it so the final book on this list is Hang the Moon this um, author also wrote the book Written the Stars which I had never read I just went straight into this one and I gave it five stars. We follow two characters once again, Brendan, who is a hopeless romantic. He believes in love and that's why he created a dating app. But he's never found the one. That is until when his sister's best friend comes back into town and he's kind of always had this crush on her. So Annie doesn't believe in romance and she doesn't like romantic comedies. And she's definitely the opposite to Brendan in that aspect. She comes out to Seattle to visit her best friend. Her best friend just so happens to end up being away. So Brendan and Annie end up spending time together and Brendan decides that he's going to try and make Annie believe in love. Um, it is such a cute read. I had such a good time reading this. I love the character. There's, even, there's as always some really funny and cute moments but this book was just so well done and I loved every single one of these characters. I love that it was set in Seattle. I don't think I've read a book set in Seattle before. And I also loved all the side characters. I have two of the side characters are the main characters from Written in the Stars. And I now need to read that one. This was a five star read. Highly recommend this one again, of course. <laughs> but yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. It says on here, he's looking for the one, but maybe he's already met her. This is so beautiful. And I was actually really sad when this one ended, but it's so well done and it's just perfect. Um, again, I think that most of these books are good for December. I feel like December is like the best time to read romances. That's all of my romance recommendations. I'm thinking about doing a part two at some point, or I might even do one where it's romance books I can't wait to read for. If you have any recommendations, leave them in the comments below. I would love to see what you guys recommend regarding romances or any books, to be honest. But if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button subscribe it would mean the world to me and turn on that notification bell so you get alerted to when i next upload until next time bye, bye.